So I made this uh, algorithm trading bot thing for Deribit. It trades uh, BTC futures. Um, Deribit is an exchange that does this sort of thing and it also deals with options. So to show you a bit what the um, algorithm does. Okay, so let's have a let's say we have a layout like this. We have short orders above the bid and the ask and we have long orders below the bid and the ask all of size 20. So let's say the price comes in something like if I can find the pencil tool. So let's say we start off here. This is the bid and the ask. We'll call this the base. Let's say the price does something like that. Now, this will be at 4,050, 4,100, 4,300, let's say. Uh, let's assume when the price goes up, it fills every single one of these orders. And so what that does is it creates an overall position of 60 units and creates an average price somewhere along here so we'll, you would have to add up 4300 4100 and 4050 add them up divide by three because we have our unit sizes are all the same and you'll get a average price i haven't worked it out but you have an average price let's say somewhere here right so that's our average position price or a position amount of 60. now as soon as the price goes below that we are considered being in a profitable position because we have gone below th this average price is considered our new entry price and so since we're shorting it'll be a minus value so when it goes below that if we then bombard the api with exit orders so buy orders here we can make profit based on this jump here so based on that jump, we can make a profit. And that's essentially what the um, the algorithm does. Now this would be ideal for um, for certain flash crashes, and that's quite noticeable. It happens quite a lot in BTCs and stuff like that. We have a crash like that. So when the price you know is gonna do a sharp dip, launch the algorithm, and then, so it makes orders here, and then exit outs there, to that idea. So as you go down the average price goes down so your entry price goes down and then obviously the higher the bounce back will be profitable if it's a big bounce back so yeah i'll show you the algorithm working Alright, so that was the algorithm at work. Uh, just worth bearing in mind that the algorithm was running on the testnet site, not the real Deribit site, because I didn't want to risk real money just to show it working. Um, I'll say the algorithm is a bit risky. Uh, obviously, you're you're increasing your position as you go in a disadvantaged position, so there's obviously issues with that. I would say um, make sure you choose the correct signals to use because you only want to run this maybe once. Not like I've done it in like a while loop where it'll constantly loop over and over and run it again and again um, because you could get stuck in a really bad position and lose a lot of money trying to get out. But um, yeah, uh, it's going to be up on GitHub. Okay, so I just want to make this section uh, just in case some people have issues downloading and running the code. So you just want to click code on github either download it or clone it to your local machine and then open pycharm and then do file open so and so find the project then you do file settings uh, project interpreter underneath this with the project name and then click the gear icon add and then this obviously won't be highlighted because you won't have a virtual environment it'll be the bare bones so you want to click new um, you want to have the location roughly what well, roughly located locally there and you want your base interpreter to be the base one you've got on your machine so I'm assuming you have Python 3 point something installed so probably 3.9 is the earliest um, obviously install that um, yeah yeah okay and then you press ok there obviously here it'll probably load up the stuff 
and if you are new to this then I'll say the simplest way to get around getting everything working is just to um, get web so kit dash client and then install that one so this is the library that allows so install and that's the library that allows you to run the program because it uses web sockets apply okay obviously you don't need to do that um, the requirements you need for the web socket is here but if you're a newbie to this then that might be a bit of an issue you can do the the the, the thing you do where you do pip install um, and then reference the requirements file but that's the simplest way so yeah once you got all that running um, go to your clients and then enter your client ID once you've made an account and have an API key client secret and then make sure you're pointing to the test environment is done by default but just make sure you are and then run it there and then you should see the trade the orders pop up and see how it works